Brain tone free and white matter disease are important imaging features of brain frailty. So although we know that MRI is the preferred imaging tools for the aforementioned scales and measures, since they are originally developed as a workup for neurodegenerative disease um, by using MRI, the non-contrasted CT scan is mostly used in acute stroke setting where time is of the essence. So, and also because some patients cannot undergo MRI due to their claustrophobia or extensive agitation, or due to the fact that MRI is just simply not available in that hospital. So our study compared non-contrasted CT scan and MRI with respect to different atrophy scales and subcortical measures or calculation and which we, we wanted to to see if the non-acute um the, the acute setting of CT scan can it be uh used to measure atrophy <clears throat> instead of MRI. So um we wanted to use the pragmatic assessment instead of like any sophisticated um atrophy assessment methods because we want it to be implementable to like any hospital with CT scan. So our study used the escape in a one trial um, and we included 558 patients with interpretable CT and MRI and we measured both cortical and subcortical atrophy. For subcortical at atrophy, we used the method which would eliminate the measurement of brain edema. So, and brain edema, brain edema could confound the results of the brain frailty. And we found that for subcortical atrophy assessment on CT, it showed a strong correlation with MRI. And for cortical atrophy, we used standard visual rating scales. And we also found a strong correlation between CT and MRI. However, um, physicians should be mindful of the underestimation of atrophy severity on CT scan. So we concluded that our finding demonstrate the visibility of evaluating brain atrophy on acutely acquired CT neuroimaging.